Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol BIOAQ. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here, as they're called, representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, think it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I've been tracking this analysis on a very routine basis, did it yesterday. So that's where these red and green line annotations are coming from and want to get some things not necessarily updated, but kind of confirmation would probably be more of the right word and confirmation of what that this five cent level here, this red line is truly just a massive annoyance and thorn in the side of the bulls. I did talk about this yesterday uh, because the price broke above it. And for those of you that did watch yesterday's video, hopefully you remember me kind of throwing out the question, you know, is this a true break? A true break having two parts. First part is, yeah, price has to get above a certain level. The second part is, can the price stay above that level? And things were looking so good, so good. And then the final 30 minutes happened and now the price is back below you know, the red line. So in my mind, I'm still considering this a level of resistance because the bulls, um, I would I would definitely agree it was weakened up today because the price did spend a lot of time above it. However, when all the dust is settled because the price is, you know, back down below it, you know, in my mind, I would still consider this, you know, the very stubborn and annoying level of resistance. So again, has that level been weakened up? Yeah, I would absolutely agree with that. But at the end of the day, it is still flexing its muscles as a level of resistance. So we'll see if the bulls can you know, finally get up above it, but more importantly, stay above it next week. As far as levels of support are concerned, all about the purple line right here, which is the 50 period, a simple moving average, keyword being moving. So as next week unfolds, you know that level will continue to move its way upwards. In the event the price cannot hold above the purple line, uh, you know, that doesn't mean the entire chart's ruined or anything like that because there is still this level of support down here, which at this point I would consider more of a must hold and that's at 0.035. But I mean, the price isn't even close to that. So it's kind of, you know, pointless to even talk about it. But nonetheless, you know, that would be the next level of support if uh, that purple line is tested and not and can't quite hold. So all in all, yeah, nothing has really changed. Like I said, we've just had more confirmation that five cents truly is that stubborn area. But yeah, maybe next week the bulls can get above it and stay above it. We shall see. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.